All right, welcome back. It's still The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. And indeed, we are checking what happened today in history, not just in Nigeria, but of course across the world. All right, uh, in, um, on April 30, 1966, Aneta, you're supposed to go there. <laughs> yes, all right. So um, on this day in history, oh. 1966, the Church of Satan, a religious organization dedicated to Satanism, was formed. The Church of Satan was formed in, you know, San Francisco in California by a professional publicist, Anton Lavi. The controversial Church of Satan um, regards Satan as a spirit and not a data, not a deity. They say Satan represents love, represents kindness, and that Satan represents respect to all those who deserve it. Now, this Church of Satan rejects the Christian concept of the devil. They don't believe in hell. They don't believe in heaven. Their core belief is in indulgence, uh, you know, over abstinence, kindness, and gratification of all desires. Now, the founder of the Church of Satan, Lavi, said, Satanism is essentially a religion of self, a religion of individualism that represents pride and enlightenment. Now, to join this Church of Satan, you have to pay you know, an application fee of $200, a registration fee of $200. And, you know, members receive a membership card used to identify themselves, you know, all over the world. I mean, this is really weird, right? But um, that's what the Church of Satan is all about. And uh, they've been fighting to keep the U.S. a largely secular state. But in 1997, the founder of the church, uh, uh, Anton Lavi, actually passed away. Aneta, when you just start reading about um, the church in Satan, I could only just breathe. Uh, like the name alone is Satan. <laughs> I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not um, a, a religious bigot, but there are certain things and certain uh, doctrines you must have, um, you know, gotten over time in mm -hmm. your life. How uh, all the songs you 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 were taught at the mosque, at the church, and that one, like. Uh, it's always like uh, Satan's power, powerless power, and every other thing. So at the end of the day, and uh, there is a church dedicated to Satan. Satanism. Yes, and when church supposed to be related to ordinarily to God, you know, it it's is weird. Shocking. And they, they they boast of you know large membership. People attend the church. Yes. they pay 200 hundred two hundred uh, two hundred dollars registration fee. Their membership is in two levels. Two hundred dollars. Yeah, two you have levels to of pay membership. To register. Yes, you pay to register. So it's not just a regular church. No, I'm not asking not. if you're the spokesperson. No. I'm just. I'm just, okay. I'm just Did you wondering. see the picture of Lavi? His I saw, eyebrows, I saw his them. look. You know, they just they just believe. You know, we're glorifying self, we're glorifying enlightenment, we're preaching love. That's what the Basically, church of Satan is all about. It's about issues in the society and not just about heaven or hell. They don't believe in heaven. They don't believe in hell. They see Satan as a spirit of love. Wow. It's, it's really a, a different doctrine from what we're used to here in Africa. Mm. You know, just like you said, mm. an African man or woman, don't talk about Church of Satan. They'll start shouting about, you know. <laughs> Kabashin and all of and that. The rest. You know, but, but this is the reality in the United States. Well, it is a reality. But then again, uh, also today, uh, uh, something happened um, in Nigeria. A bomb blast struck um, a senior police officer's convoy in Jalingo, that's in Taraba State, this day uh, in uh, history. And of course, 11 people were killed, including a policeman. 22 others uh, were injured. There had been a string of bombings and shootings in the five days leading to the attack. No group actually claimed responsibility uh, for that attack. It happened at the time of serial bombings, uh, you know, by uh, Boko Haram. Aneta, indeed, this issue of uh, security in Nigeria is uh, not just an issue of today. It has no, been with us for almost over 10 years right now, and it's just uh, continuing unabated. I mean... I remember back then in 2012, when we, when we heard, first heard about this attack, April 30th, 2012, mm. you know, the news had it that a suicide bomber was riding a motorcycle and his target was the commissioner of police at that time, uh, Maman Suli. Mm. He intended to, you know, just drive into, you know, the convoy of Maman Suli. He was heading to his office in Jalingo mm. at the time. But... Um, 
he Maman Sule managed to escape unhurt, yeah. but we know that there was an explosion. Yeah, it's even yes, eleven people. Eleven people mm. died. Eleven yes. people were killed. And about two others were injured. Yes, exactly. Other people were injured. The explosion also affected the Ministry of Finance building there yeah. in Jalingo. So insecurity really has been with yeah. us for a long time. Remember it the has. first Boko Haram attack back then in two thousand and nine, yeah. but. Boko Haram. You know, the Christmas Day bombing and all of that. Now, you, know, you know, back then uh, in 2010, 2012, there about uh, almost every other time, there was an issue of uh, suicide bombing yes. uh, you know, across Nigeria. And most Nigerians were like really scared that you don't know where to go to. You don't know if you uh, maybe went to, if you gone to uh, maybe a mall or some public place, uh, you just might be uh, a victim of some suicide uh, bombing. But indeed, uh, that has uh, moved on from that to, you know, kidnapping pain and banditry yes, and uh, yes. you know, attacks on a police formation in Nigeria. Yes, indeed. There's been there's been a change in strategy over mm. time from suicide bomb, suicide bomb attacks, you know, using kids, schoolgirls and all mm. of that, you know, going into public places, detonate the bomb, kill themselves and blow, yeah, blow other people up. To now, exactly. Well. To now just going into schools, staying on the highways and mm. kidnapping people, you know, in the dead of the night. So sad. Um, we can understand where all these agitations, you know, is coming from in the country and only hope that, you know, we can only, the country can get better. We can but only those, hope. Yes. And just uh, also hope that those who are responsible, you know, to making our lives uh, to be secure should actually up their games and make sure Nigerians sleep with both eyes closed. I want to sleep and not worry about uh, uh, being attacked tomorrow, being kidnapped yes. just because I just want to travel or use the highway. Nobody wants that. Mm. Anyway, those are the stories we have for you today in history. April 30th, 2012, the suicide bomb attack in Jaingo, Taraba State, where the police commissioner, Maman Tule, escaped unhurt, as well as the formation of the Church of Satan in mm. the United States, San Francisco, this day in history, 1966. Let's take a break here and, you know, dive deep into our first conversation on The Breakfast. <laughs>